On today's Christmas spot, why we're having a look at Santa's Coal Bubble Gum. Normally you would not want coal to be found inside your stocking. That usually is an indication. You know the rules, guys. That's usually an indication that you've been bad all year. And Santa's not gonna get Santa ain't taking crap from that kind of uh, behavior. You're gonna totally get yourself some coal. In this case, though, we've got Santa's coal bubble gum. This comes to us from stupid.com. I'll post the link down below if you guys want one for yourself. As you can see, Santa's coal, they've even taken the, the liberty of putting a to and from tag. So if you're somebody who wants the person, the receiver of the gift, to know who was the jerk that sent it to them, why you can actually put it in there. <laughs> you could also be really bad if you wanted to and put the person's name and then from, instead of putting your own name, put someone else in the family's name. You know, to Billy from Dad. And Billy would open it up and say, Dad! And he'd be like, I don't know, I didn't do that. Did I do that, honey? Because we all know the mother is the one that packs the stockings and everything else. The father just, well, at least in my house. Down below it says, naughty or nice bubble gum. In quotations. It's artificially flavored. It doesn't actually, it says fruit artificially flavored, but who really knows what flavor fruit this would be? The fact that it would be coal, I don't know. On the backs there are some nutritional items. And I say nutrition, and actually, interesting enough, it's made by Wrigley. Does not Wrigley make juicy fruit? It's gonna move you. This is uh, it's right to you. A juicy fruit. A juicy, 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 it's gonna move you. Anyways, let's get this opened up. Come on, Spot, we don't need to be talking and sing through the whole, we're gonna lose, totally lose subscribers and people are gonna go looking elsewhere and they're gonna say, I'm done watching this guy's reviews. Let's see what else is going on on YouTube. Oh, hey, this guy's doing some stuff. He's doing gum, gum too. He's a little funnier than Spot too. And some of his material I think is better laid out and better written out. Maybe we'll watch him instead. Totally unsubscribe to review Spot. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Hey guys, do I got the camera still going? Okay, let's get this opened up. I thought, you know what, I was going to try to rip this bag, but I'm seeing if I can just pull the plastic bag out. There we go. There's the Santa's coal. I'm just going to lay it down by the fire with care. Inside, yes, it does, it does definitely look like coal. It looks like some construction workers have just finished uh, Paving the road, and this is like the old dry, uh, pavement that they've dug in. They've dug in. They've digged up. Apparently, Spot for Christmas wants proper grammar. Red's in the picture. Hello, Red. Good to see you again. Let me get this opened up ever so slightly. I don't want to spill coal everywhere. I'm sure, uh, Bob Cratchit would be flailing his fist, saying, "Look at you wasting our coal." You only knew we only had one piece of coal to work from, and here you are throwing coal every which way. There's a piece of coal right there. I think these look really, really neat. I don't even. I almost don't even want to try these because I'm thinking these look just so awesome. Totally got in my mind who I'm going to give these to. Anyways, we got the piece of coal there. Let's give this a try. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't really have a flavor to it. It kind of tastes like it could be grape, but there's really not a lot going on there. Okay, yeah. It tastes a little bit like grape. Certainly, though, the novelty, I think, is more so the fact that these clearly look like pieces of coal. More flattened pieces of coal, I guess, than, than little round pieces of coal, but... It definitely doesn't look like something that's edible. Obviously the rule of thumb too is when you're eating bubble gum, don't be swallowing it as well. Might be just an urban legend, but I, I heard that gum taste, takes about seven years to break down. Speaking of breaking down, this gum feels like it's breaking down in my mouth. It's still pretty fun though. And you know what, novelty, novelty really, this stuff is pretty awesome to put in somebody's stocking. Mm. Today's Christmas spot, we were having a look. Actually, you know what, let's hold it up. Product placement is key. Today's Christmas spot, we were having a look at Santa's Coal. Again, brought to us by the good folks at stupid.com. I'll post the link down below if you guys are interested in getting yours, your very own, and being a total jerk, putting it in somebody else's stocking. By the way, the idea, right, somebody else as the sender, 
Totally my idea. That's alright, you guys can use it. Today's Christmas spot, we're looking at Santa's Cole Bubblegum. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.